Come on, boy. Collect the flamethrower. Nice. Is that going to be good? Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Alien Isolation. In the last part, we um, we got to Taylor and um, Samuels, but the transit station thing, the whole transit cars were not working, so we had to come down here to turn on the power again. And now the elevator we used to get there is not working any longer, so we need to find an alternate route to get back. We also dispatched of a average Joe for the first time using the gun. And we've got this new tool here, like a torch, and we can use it on these orange boxes now on the walls. So I'm not too sure how this works, first time using one. So push L to cut the panel. So we're making like a big square shape to get through it. Well, it's this takes a long time, actually makes a lot of noise. It's not, it's not a quick option to get through anywhere. Holy shit, this takes a long time. It's quite realistic, you know. Where was it starting? There we go. Alright, so we can only really do this when there's no one around to spot us. Because that is not a stealth option at all. Alright, let's turn the flashlight on. Turn it off. Just to save a bit of power. Let's check which way we're trying to be meant to be heading. Going this way. There's a ladder right there. Now can we take... Yeah, we can only go down. We can't go across it. Just wondering if you could explore any further. So it looks pretty dark down here, actually. There's not much um, power switched on. No lighting. So what have we got? We've got an exit here. Alright, we've got some lights switched on. That's good. So we've got a um, rewire system there. They're not always something you have to use, it's just an alternate way to do things. So we got an ID pad tar tag, just collectible stuff really. Let's listen to this tape. Rise, it's Sinclair. We need supplies. Take what you can from whoever you want. I found an area in habitation where we can seal ourselves in and wait for rescue. I've got guys welding vents shut and shutting off elevators. Plan is to make it watertight. There's no room for more people in the sanctuary, but we can make space for their food, beds, water and guns. If we're gonna get everyone through this alive, there's no room for pity. Alright. Air purification, leave it on, I guess. There's no reason to turn it off, really. I don't actually know what that means, purification. It makes it. So, is that. Makes it so there is oxygen instead of none? Or what? So. We're never really gonna wanna turn it off. Alright, so we're back down to the, um, the station. There we go, Cup of Joe smile, don't forget to smile. You gotta do it every time you see the poster. Alright, so. Ripley, we heard voices as we left. Watch yourself. You heard voices, so there's gonna be people. Take the transit guard to Tolo and Habitation Tower. There's a save point right here, use it. Alright, so we're heading to Solomon's Habitation Tower. Gotta to find the right one, which side? There we go, that one there. You see the sign on the ceiling, the left hand side. Now uh, we have to call it and obviously hide until it comes. So is there any way there's a there's a um what you call it, locker over here. So we're gonna get inside this. Let's walk it from across. Because you never know what might come before that arrives. I'm starting to hear a bit of noise. Here we go. There's all kinds of noise in the vents. That takes the day we finally seal ourselves into the habitation deck. It's like four. Feel safe? I sure as hell don't. I'm not getting into a shootout with these guys, no way. Hopefully they'll pass. And they won't get suspicious of the um the transit car coming. This car for Solomon's habitation tower. Okay, so there's a guy's it feels like we're standing around waiting to die. Are these guys going to patrol around here? Seriously? I could have done. Let's go find Sinclair. No way we should be splitting up. Safety in numbers. Not even sure of that anymore. <coughs> that thing is unstoppable. Oh, nice. Give me one clear shot. I'll stop the fucker. So that's like scripting right there. They just <laughs> were forced to leave for the story. So we made the right choice there to hide while we were waiting for the transit car. 
Now there's no one around who can just jump in peacefully. You'd think they would have been a bit suspicious of why that was called, but no. Alright, so Samuels and Taylor and all the marshals and all that should be nearby now. We're at the station that they went to. Hopefully they haven't gone too far away. So get to Colonel Marshall Bureau. Should be pretty safe here. There's no signs of any dead bodies of attacks from the aliens. Alright, so let's, let's just head towards where the objective marker Ripley, is. We're in the Marshall Bureau. Just turn right at the top of the stairs. You can't miss it. No welcome committee? Just get up here. Wait's out. Alright, so is this it? This is right at the top of the stairs, right? Have I gone to the right stairs? <laughs> right, isn't that it? That's right, I'm sure. I mean, maybe it's the other one then. The next right. So we should sit at the end of the corridor. Silly Billy, giving me wrong directions. Fuck the marshals. Rest in peace, Sevastopol. I don't understand why everyone's like against each other. You know, there's an alien on board. We should really all group together and fight it together instead of fighting each other and the alien. Calm down. You're safe now. Waits has a plan. A plan? Really? His fucking plans haven't done as much good Was so far. Was that you? Did you get the transit running? Nice work. Thank you. You're welcome. Maybe we'll be safe here. For now, anyway. Alright, so let's go through to the back now, where maybe Taylor's gonna be behind there. Have these guys got, got any food, like rations or anything? Like, How's they... Taylor? Stable. Should be walking soon enough. Samuels is with her now. Okay. You managed to get transit up and running, so I guess we're even. Where's Ricardo? Prepping our next move. Look, I'm busy. I've got Marlo in the cells, the lowlife who showed up with your flight recorder. Where's Marlo's ship? The Anisadora. He put it in a parking orbit around the gas giant. Son of a bitch won't give us the command codes to let us bring it in on auto. Maybe you can get more out of the unhelpful bastard. Go talk to him. Talk to Marlo. Isn't Marlo, like, the guy we got a keycard from, his dead body, a while ago? Was that a similar name? That says hostiles nearby then, when I went to save. I'm not seeing any hostiles. So, um, here we go. If Sam Ta Samuels is in there with Taylor. Maybe we should check. Oh, the door's locked. Can't even get in there. Okay. Never mind. I've done all the work. I got the um, the power, power back up and I got the trauma kit. But no, you're not allowed to go in there. Fine. Screw you guys. So, talk to Marlo. Oh, here we go. Marlo? Oh, hello. Who wants to know? My name's Ripley. I'm with the company. Here for your empty box already? You guys are keen, I'll give you that. I'm here for personal reasons. My mother was on the Nostromo when it went missing 15 years ago. You serious? Shit. Well... Shit. We never found her ship, Ripley. Just the recorder. But you sure as hell found something else. What happened out there? I need a way out of here, Ripley. Maybe we can make a deal. Just start talking. I want to know everything. Come check. You get me, Lewis? A little fuzzy, Marlo, but you're coming through. Let's take it slow. I want to get to that beacon in one piece. So I'm playing Marlo's past. <laughs> okay, enough already. Focus on what we're here for. I don't want any mistakes. So this is what happened when they faced the balls into the destroyer the mode. Scan for signal using the tracking device. Ah, so we got a different tool now. There you are. Foster, Meeks, keep your eyes open. Direction needle points to your objective. Holy shit. This is one way to tell the story, I guess. You've got the atmosphere in this game so good. I mean, even just like the way the... The, the sound, the way it's very dull. 
you know, the way because obviously you got helmet on and all that. Alright, so I'm just gonna follow these guys, I guess, because they know they seem to know where they're going. Or we all just looking in random directions. I mean this when this blue needle moves, I think that means we're getting close to where we need to be. So I'm gonna go this way. Alright, I think I maybe should have just followed these guys. This is now leading me back to where they are. We keep going. We've got the tracker. It'll see us through. Don't worry. If it's a distress signal, they wouldn't have lasted. Which means we get the salvage rights to anything we find. So we're just following whenever this blue needle seems to be having, like, going weird, shaking a lot. It's like hot, hot and cold. The more the needle, the blue needle on the, is to the right, and the closer we are heading towards it. A bit like a metal detector, I guess. I'm just going to keep pushing forward in a direction where that needle moves. See if I can find a weak spot. Wait here. So find the route around the blockage. So the blockage is right here, right? The all these rocks. So gonna need a lift. Heist left. over here. Give me a leg up. So we're gonna climb on these rocks here. I found a path. Check it out. Then you wait some more. <laughs> Very strange formation of the, like, the platform here, the rocks. It's like a bridge almost. Alright, this isn't good. Yeah, I'm good. It was a close one, though. Don't think I'll be able to get back the way I came. Just watch yourself, you hear me? My god, this guy's got balls of steel, just stepping into unknown territory in space like this alone. This could be the end of your life right here. There's only one really one path to take really through all this. Right there. Have we gone the right way? But the needle's moving still, kind of. And there's only like one path to take, it's like kind of this narrow passageway. Stay put! I think I found something. What do you think you found? I don't see any of them. Right, the needle's moving on this. There's a fissure in the rock. What? Stand back. I'm gonna blow it. All right. So we're gonna blow up this rock to make a a path for the rest of our crew. I think it's weird how you're playing this. I guess they wanted to show off what they could do while pl walking on the planet itself. This is all just filler right here. This is not even anything important. They're, they're traveling towards. I think it's the kind of the scene setting, aren't they? Let's get going. Follow me. So we're gonna go away that we haven't come from. Heist over here. Give me a leg up. Oh my god, again? Really? So come on, give me a leg. If you can walk a bit faster. Can I sprint? No. Nope. found something. That looks alien type. That does not look like it's made by humans. Alright, that's it. That was the end uh, the flashback. Okay, so find the source of the signal. So we're moving in closer to this, this foreign object right now. Okay, enter the derelict. Is this alien? I don't know what this is. I'm guessing this is the first contact with the alien as well. By humans. 
like a big vagina. Look at that. Ugh. Okay, so how many of this? Oh, there's a guy outside. I think there's four of us in total. We should all be tied up by a piece of rope just so we don't lose each other. Something big. Oh my guys, after with what you touch. I don't want anything damaged. It's amazing. How old must this be? What is it? A cockpit? And make this a ship. Ha <laughs> I think we found our payload. Hey, quiet. What? You think we're gonna wake him? Hey, sorry, pal. Can it! We're wasting time. Have a look around. No, no, it, it's a life form. It was a life form. Now it's our property. Salvage rights. Where's that? Let's take our claim before anyone else does. The Anisador is not prepared for something this big. Then we'll take what we can and come back. Have a look around, see what else is here. Mama, we found something. Tracks. Tracks? It looks like something was dragged. But that's not all. We're not gonna like this. What is it? The tracks lead here. The same name that's on the flight recorder. Nostromo. Maybe they abandoned ship and landed here. I can see that. Shit. Well, if they were here before us, why is there no record of this place? Well, if they're still alive, there goes our salvage. Let's find out. I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Don't want anybody else finding this place. Foster, Heist, check out the cavern below. So locate the distress beacon. So this thing is still leading us towards the distress beacon, right? This tool. Alright guys, so we're looking for the stress beacon right here, and there's the thing in the middle, there's a doorway over there that we came in through, and the only place we haven't explored is where this guy's standing. So this guy's going to give us a boost, I think. He's in the position to anyway. <laughs> so, let's see if we can find this beacon. Alright, this tunnel's coming to an end right now, it's quite a long walk. Meeks, I found the beacon. Holy shit. Disable the distress beacon. What's the blue glowy shit though? Is that the beacon? No, it's not, right? This is like the power of the alien ship. What is that? Shut down beacon. Shit. Very magical. I don't know what happened, but the beacon stopped broadcasting. my way. So okay, we're going back to our people. She's found something pretty amazing. Uh, I know they're trying to make you move slowly to like set an atmosphere, but this is very slow movement right here. Look how it's taking me like 10 minutes to walk around this place to figure out where to go and actually get to it. Alright, so we drop down, we've got the people, they put some kind of tool up there to look down into it. There's a hole up top, so we're going to go see what that is. Alright, we're going to go see what's inside this hole now. They look like they're drilling in, maybe. This place just keeps on giving. Here, strap yourself in. Strap myself in. So I'm going down, am I? Phone. Use winch. God, these guys have got such big balls to do this shit. <laughs> they would not be doing this. Deep does this go? How'd you get back up? Does this have like a reverse button to so get back up? Oh my god. Are oh my god. Are these alien eggs? Touching this shit. Disturbing it. Disturbing any of this. Oh god. So 
this guy survives, right? The guy I'm playing does. Ugh. That's the end of that story. So how the hell did um, Morley escape that? Want to know more? Everything. Where's your ship? If we can break the comms lockdown, what are the codes to bring it in on auto? If you want more, then you need to get me out of here. Not happening, Marlow. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Wait. My board in the text by just lit up like a Christmas tree. It's here. Plan B. Set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay, this way. Got something here you'll need. So what the alien is being tracked here. And that's outside the door, is it? Or is he gonna give us some weapons? Come on boy, collect the flamethrower. Nice. Is that gonna be good? Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. I hope you're right. It's not an animal. It's more than an animal. I want to click, pick up all the things that we can use here. So, oh, you should look at that flamethrower. Nice. I've got a plan to trap it. Take a transit car and meet Ricardo in the Systex Spire. I'll coordinate from here. All right, so we're going to go to the Systex Spire and trap it there. We're going to do that, guys, in the next video. There's Taylor taking some rest time. So we're going to save here, and we're going to hopefully trap the aliens somehow in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next one. Bye.